Let's see how we can spawn some portables. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. Alright, fans, back and tell everyone more, and in this tutorial, we're seeing how you can spawn some particles. Now, this is going to be one way to spawn the particles, and then both custom particles as well as another way we'll see in the next tutorial. But for now, we're going to be able to see how we can spawn them when we are on the server. Meaning, in this case, for example, when we have the chisel item and we right-click a block, then of course, that block changes to a different block, right? A stone changes to stone bricks and so on and so forth. However, when we click this, we know that in this if statement right here, we are on the server. And we know this by basically saying level is client side and then negating that. Meaning that everything inside of this particular if statement right here has to be server side. So... Here we are on the server, and how do we now spawn a particle? Well, we say level dot send particles, and we're going to hit tab to autocomplete this. It's going to basically cast this level into a server level, and then we can send those particles. The positive thing about using the send particles instead of the add particle, so this is also available, add particle basically works for the client, and then send particle is going to send them to every single client there is. So if I were to right-click this particular block, then everyone on the server would still see the particles when they're near. And the particles they would see, well, we're going to make a new block particle option right here of particle types that block, and we're going to say the click block dot default block state. After the second closing parenthesis, we're going to say context dot get click position dot get x, and then plus 0.5. I'm going to explain why in a second. We'll do the same thing for get y with a plus one and then a context p context dot get click position get z in this case get z or z and then here also a point five offset we're going to do let's say 10 particle count we're going to do a zero offset zero offset zero offset and then a speed of one and here, I highly recommend you play around with those numbers. The reason why we need the 0.5 offset is because otherwise it's going to be the bottom right corner, I believe. And if we do a plus 0.5, plus 0.5, plus 0.5, plus 0.5, we would be in the middle of the block. And a plus 1 for the Y would put it exactly at the top of the block, but in the middle of it. That's the idea. And here, I also want to duplicate this one more time because instead of choosing the block over here as the particle option... You can also just choose particle types dot and you can choose, well, any of these simple particle types over here. Let's say, say for example, uh, something like there's a there's like a loved one, villager love, I think it's called, right? Or villager, happy villager. I think that that's it. Let's just spawn that one. Let's spawn it a little bit higher up and also with more speed. Do note that on some of them, the speed and things like that don't quite work because they have their own sort of velocity and their own sort of, well, I mean, basic properties to them but overall that should all work and i highly recommend once again just play around with any of those numbers and then just see what you can come up with but overall that's basically all we need in this case so let's jump into the game and see if it works all right fans are back in minecraft and let's see when i right click this you can see that not only do we get the particles over here from the block that we click so you can see that those are well basically stone particles and here we get the deep state particles we also get the happy villager effect right here but like i said this one in particular you can see that it moves very slowly so probably the speed three over there uh, does not quite work out but yeah there you have it basically that is custom particles spawning over here awesome and that's going to be it for this tutorial over here. Next time in this video, we'll add custom particle type as well as spawning the particles via the client. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.